Hi, uh, I'm going to try to make this short. It's um, an update on how I've been progressing. Um, where do I start? Okay, uh, first thing, okay, I um, I tried I tried making a um, um, the layout and everything. I've cut my uh, sheets here 12 inches by 12 inches. And then the inside here, um, this pattern that you see here, I did by hand, and it's not good enough. I'm going to have to do it on SketchUp. My uh, protractor is, wasn't isn't accurate enough to um, make all these angles and everything precise, or or the uh, separations. Uh, what you see here is um, I've cut out with um, my uh, jigsaw. A circle on the in on the inside, and that's not accurate enough. It doesn't want to turn on its own. Okay, um, the um, there's too much uh, too much discrepancy between the inner and the outer. So I've opted to uh, build a jig for my router that will um, this a one eighth hole in the center, and the uh, the jig. Uh, we'll cut a hole uh, a quarter inch around, okay, and this here, the, the inner is um, six inches in diameter, three inch radius, and um, so uh, by setting this, uh, as, as I laid it out here, I'm using a drill bit for a, um, a guide, this is a one-eighth hole. Uh, it'll cut a, 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 a quarter inch hole around the outside or one eighth groove, okay? Cutting out both of the, the making it nicely centered. And um, now, what I've got to do tomorrow, I have to go and get a, a quarter inch rotor bit. Um, and uh, that rotor bit is going to cut a, a square hole, okay? And um, with the guide, it's going to be a perfectly round, okay? Uh, my router, okay, it's a, <laughs> it's a craftsman. It's a, it, it's a monster. It does everything but uh, wash the dishes, okay? So um, anyway, I have to... Um, uh, I have to cut a perfect hole so that uh, the, the the rotor on the inside will spin properly. Okay, now um, uh, I've done a lot of things and like my my jig, I'm, uh, I'll put a uh, description, uh, uh, a link to the site uh, or the uh, video. Uh, a fella, I'm using, I used the, um, uh, the system that he, he Put out on the internet, and I'll put a link to that in my description. Um, this is the same as what what he did, okay, and uh, it makes a nice precise circle, okay. Uh, it doesn't look uh, precise because the quarter inch hole here, okay, the quarter inch from the from the center uh, will cut to the outside, okay, leaving this on the inside six inches exactly. And so, um, anyway, um, uh, a few things, okay, um, I'll try to show you some of the stuff I've been using, okay. Uh, firstly, uh, you need a, uh, a drill press, okay, and there's my drill press, and it's sitting on my desk. I don't have a scroll saw, okay. Uh, what I did, I put a, um, I put the drill press inside a, uh, um, uh, an aluminum uh, turkey pan to uh, catch all the shrapnel and plastic and what have you so there's less cleanup but um, all of my holes and what have you I'm I'm cutting with a uh, uh, with a drill press okay <coughs> pardon me so um, I'm kind of at an advantage of most people. I, I have um, probably over $10,000 worth of tools here. 
But uh, here's the hole I used, a you know, hole cutter, to uh, cut the center. And uh, you need to be able to uh, insert everything and, in, you know, to make, a, make good holes and what have you. Now, um, I'm not throwing out any, any stuff. Um, here, here we have, um, this is the base of my rotor. And I use that for a template, just like the fella in the in the video. That if you go and watch it, okay, it makes the holes nice and precise. I just mark them out and uh, cut holes accordingly, and um, countersunk them. Use different drill bits for each different job. But I don't throw anything out. Now here's the center for that hole, okay, and um, that center is going to be used as a spacer. In between the the, uh, the two sheets, um, I um, yeah oh I've got these all taped together. I've got um, I've got two uh, two sheets that I, I'm using, and I'll be using this um, center hole. I'll drill it out one eighth the same as the first one, and um, but I don't throw anything out. Okay, the um, when you're uh, doing experimental work, uh, you know, uh, plexiglass is not all that expensive uh, compared to other plastics. Um, to, to throw anything out is a waste and uh, you're just spending money you don't have to. So anyway, now a few little things. Uh, you see here I, I have the left factory edge, okay? Now when I bought the plexiglass, I marked off which were the factory edges. And why that's important, when you have, um, when you're doing any kind of fitting, like I used to be a, a steel fitter, and um, you have to know where the factory edge is, because like after somebody cuts something, it may be off, it may deviate somewhat. So you have to know where your factory edges are, okay? So I, uh, I mark off what's a factory edge and then I measure from that factory edge not from where I've cut okay so um, anyway um, the uh, what I'm doing okay now this um, oh, we'll just set that aside um, when I laid this out uh, my protractor w is not accurate enough to do a um, a precise job, okay. The uh, I'm going to use SketchUp, um, Google SketchUp, to um, to lay this out properly. There's, uh, you'll see if you look around, count them. There's uh, nine places for nine magnets, okay, and those are the centers. And uh, there's a 30 degree deviation from center, okay. So dividing this by nine, you've got. Um, uh, 40 degree increments around what's uh, 360 divided by um, by 9 is um, is 4 okay so you've got 40 degree increments okay and 30 degree deviation off of each of those okay now on the I use 9 there on the inside but on the outside there's 15 okay and those are also um, measured at a 30 degree um, deviation okay so um, here here's the reasoning behind this okay uh, nine in numerology is the highest number okay and it's a sacred number I use nine a base of nine because this whole thing is based on uh, sacred geometry and ancient mathematics okay now around the outside we have 15 okay and the significance of that is the ratio between 9 and 15 is 1.33 okay and in the musical scale uh, the um, uh, Pythagorean um, musical scale that's very significant okay the uh, we we listen to uh, music on the radio at um, um, a uh, or uh, A440, okay, where the Pythagorean and the ancient musical scale was 432, 
Okay, now here's the significance of that. 4, 3, 2, if you add the numbers together, 4 plus 3 plus 2 equals 9. Okay, and that's the basis. Okay, the outside 15, okay, works the same way. It adds up to, to, to 6. 1 plus 5 equals 6, okay, which is all, also a sacred number. And 9 and 6 work together. So, <clears throat> anyway, that's a basis for this concept. And um, I don't know if it's going to work. Okay, this is experimental. So, um, but we'll see. Okay, I'll, I'm continuing to work on this. Now, uh, having said that, okay, uh, what I'm doing, uh, tomorrow I have to go out and get a, a quarter inch um, router, router bit so that I can cut this circle perfectly and use my jig and uh, when, uh, when I center it, oop, there, okay, the, uh, the jig will move around perfectly, cutting a perfect hole and that way all I have to do after that is, um, after it's cut out, is balance it. Now, there's, because there's two parts in this, okay, mm, pardon me, um, instead of uh, gluing all of this together, I'm just going to uh, bolt it together. And the reason for that is, is um, plexiglass is not that expensive, but uh, to waste anything is, uh, is madness when you're doing experimental work. So um, by bolting it together, I'm going to be using the, the excess. I've got lots of extra plastic here. I'm get, it's quarter inch thick. So what I'm going to do is cut out blocks and those blocks are going to uh, sit uh, in there. And then my magnet is going to sit inside. Now, whoop, let's roll this way try to find the equilibrium here. Um, there we are. So, um, uh, with quarter inch plus uh, two sheets of quarter inch is three quarter inch, so uh, measuring my magnets are half inch and with the um, with the shielding that's an extra eighth of an inch, okay? Uh, a sixteenth and a sixteenth on either side. So, um, that's the mentality behind that. So, I um, Rather than um, gluing that stuff into place, I'm going to press it in using machine screws and blocks that I can cut out to the exact size that I need, okay? And um, that way, I can cut the blocks, and if something isn't working for some reason, um, but I can see something is trying to work, okay, then I can move the 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 block to a, uh, either a different angle, okay, n different angle of attack, or a um, uh, a different location, and perhaps add magnets or remove magnets as needed. Uh, now, what I have to uh, uh, what should I mention? Uh, there was something that was uh, fairly important here. Um, yeah, uh, so anyway, I can, by using the, the, the blocks, okay, cutting out blocks, I can drill out um, in the plastic that and still be able to mo move something or change an inclination, okay? So um, uh, that's it. Now, um, now I have... Um, I have like a quarter inch router bit, but this is for doing like arborite along a kitchen kitchen counter. And uh, there's a bearing on the bottom and it won't cut the hole that I need. So I have to go and get a, a different, um, different router bit. And um, then in, in my centers, um, I've got five inch, five eighths inch rod that I'm using as a, um, uh, to rotate. Okay, so this hole has to be cut out to 5 8 so that the rod can go through and then fit these bearings. Okay, I've got a couple of bearings here. Now, um, the, um, the plexiglass, I'm, I'm going to probably going to use wood 
for a uh, framework. Okay. Now the uh, the outside is 12 by 12. I can cut that down. Okay, to to a point, and then uh, to make it smaller, and um, then um, the. Um, um, yeah, so I'll use wood to hold the bearings and what have you and see if this thing will spin. And if it spins, then we know we're on the right track. So um, anyway, um, that's about where it stands. And um, so I'll, um, I have to get the router bit. I have to get uh, machine mag or non-magnetic machine screws to hold all this together. And then I'll cut out the blocks and what have you to put it together. And uh, that'll be probably be the next video. So uh, this is uh, Christmas Day. Um, have fun. And I hope you got everything you wanted from Santa. Okay. So thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye.